Hi viewers, welcome to Diksham channel. Learn mathematics easily. Here we are going to work out with the problem. Two points have coordinates A of 5, 7, B of 9, minus 1. The first question is we have to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Then second, uh, the second statement given is the line through C of 1, 2 is parallel to AB and meets the perpendicular bisector of AB at the point x. We need to find the distance Bx. Now mark the points uh, A of 5, 7, B of 9, minus 1. So this is the line. We can take it as line L1. First, we have to find the perpendicular bisector of AB. So, for that first calculate the gradient of AB, which is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, which is equal to minus 1 minus 7 divided by 9 minus 5 which is equal to minus 8 by 4, which is minus 2. Now, from this, we have to find the gradient to the perpendicular. So, the gradient to the perpendicular equal to minus of the gradient, minus of the reciprocal of the gradient of AB, which is equal to minus of minus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 1 by 2. From this, we can say that the equation of perpendicular bisector. So, equation of perpendicular bisector. Now, for this point, find the midpoint. So, midpoint is 5 plus 9 divided by 2, comma 7 minus 1 divided by 2. So, 7, comma 3. Now, equation of perpendicular bisector is y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. Uh, from this we can have y minus 7 equal to 1 by 2 times x minus 5. So, 2 times y minus 7 equal to x minus 5. 2y minus 14 equal to x minus 5. So, 2y minus x equal to minus 5 plus 14. So, my, minus 6 plus 2y equal to 9. From this, we can have x minus 2y equal to minus 9, which implies x minus 2y plus 9 equal to 0. So, this one is the equation of perpendicular bisector. Next one is, we are given... Uh, we are considering another line which passes through the point C of 1 comma 2 and is parallel to the line L1 that is L1 and L2 are parallel and from this point we are drawing one perpendicular bisector which meets the new line L2 at the point X. So we can take the coordinates as X comma Y. Now we need to find the distance Vx that is this distance we have to calculate. So, for that first we need to find the value of x, y. So, if the lines L1 and L2 are parallel, then the gradients will be equal. We know that the gradient of AB is minus 2. Therefore, we can say the gradient of the line L2 equal to minus 2. From this, we can find the gradient of... Uh, gradient of L2 equal to minus 2 and here we are having two points x of x comma y and c of 1 comma 2 so which implies 2 minus y divided by 1 minus x equal to minus 2 which implies 2 minus y equal to minus 2 times 1 minus x which is equal to minus 2 plus 2x. And by simplifying this, we may write it as 2 plus 2 equal to 2x plus y. So, from this 2x plus y equal to 4. This is the first equation. And another one is, now consider the points B. It is 
7 comma 3 and x it is x comma y so the gradient of perpendicular bisector we know that it is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 equal to y minus 3 divided by x minus 7 so y minus 3 multiplied by 2 equal to x minus 7 2y minus 6 equal to x minus 7 so from this we can have x minus 2y equal to minus 6 plus 7 so x minus 2y equal to 1 this is the another equation now we need to solve these two equations to find the values of x and y the two equations are 2x plus y equal to 4 and x minus 2y equal to 1 so mark it as equations 1 and 2 now multiply the second equation by 2 and subtract with the first equation we will get y minus 4y equal to 2 so minus 3y equal to 2 y equal to 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 now from this the second equation first equation will become as 2x minus 2 by 3 equal to 4 2x equal to 4 plus 2 by 3 which is equal to 24 by 3 so x equal to 12 by 3 hence the point uh, x has coordinates 12 by 3 comma minus 2 by 3 now we have to find the distance bx the point b has coordinate 7 3 and the coordinates of x are 12 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 so the distance of bx is equal to Okay, the point B is 9 minus 1. So, we will get square root of 12 by 3 minus 9 the whole square plus minus 2 by 3 minus of minus 1 plus 1 the whole square which is equal to 12 minus 27. So, minus 15 by 3 the whole square plus minus 2 plus 3. So, it is 1 by 3 the whole square which is equal to square root of 225 by 9 plus 1 by 9 which is equal to square root of 226 by 9 square root of 226 divided by 3 which is equal to root of 226 so 15 Point zero three 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 divided by three, which is five point zero one one. Thank you. If you are comfortable, kindly like, subscribe, and press the bell button for further notifications. Thank you.